Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're drinking a beer from Counterpart. This is Flo Mosa. So, Flo is an IPA uh, series. Well, I, I don't actually remember if it's series or Flo, it was its own thing. But it was an IPA from Counterpart. This is 6.5% alcohol, and Flo Mosa is an IPA with tangerine, orange, and citrus zest. And Counterpart Brewing, for those that do not know, is located in Niagara Falls, Ontario. There is actually a chance I'll be back in Ontario soon. Um, still be considered a prescribed zone where I would be going, but it would be a zone A instead of zone B like I'm in right now. Uh, because right now I am I am in the Arctic and above the tree line. And I would be in the subarctic if, if I end up where talk is to end up. Um, crystal, crystal clear. <laughs> Hazy, crazy, bright white head. Snap, crackle, pop is is there. It's beautiful. Um, scent, we'll do the can first. Okay, see, here's the thing, right? I got really excited for Flow Mosa because... Counterpart makes some really good beers, especially fruit-flavored beers. They do make some really good IPAs, too. I'm not a huge IPA fan. I, there are some I love. But because there's such a good brewery at it, and there's such a good brewery at fruited beers, I thought this would be perfect. I smell the bitterness off of that. Yes, you can get citrus fruit off of it. You can get that from the can. But it has that... That uh, oh, what, what, sweet, almost sickly sweet slash resiny scent that a lot of American IPAs and stuff like that give off. Or, and I know that's weird. What's a resiny scent? I, I don't know how to explain it. It just that smell. I can't. It's one of those ones where I can't tell you what exactly it smells like, but that smell correlates to a re oily, resiny, bitter taste when I drink it. It's, it's almost like a floral citrus glass. More citrus is coming from the glass than from the can. Cheers. There it is, right there. So I drink it. I get that beautiful taste and then that glowing resiny bitterness I talked about just claws back up my throat. Okay, so it touches your tongue. It touches your tongue. There's a nice sweetness there, a malty sweetness. You swallow it, and you get a mixture of super sweet, beautiful orange juice and slightly sour, like, old orange juice or just over-ripened oranges. Then, after that sourness fades, you start getting that bitterness clawing its way back up your throat. And at that point, it's almost as if you took an orange and you bit into it and you're getting all those, the resiny oils all over the back of your palate just covering it on top of that it almost gives off a slight on the very back it almost gives off that slight sensation of when you brush your teeth and you have that minty sensation going on and then you drink some orange juice or something and get that just bitter and slightly sour to just thing take over your face I just I think I wanted more of the orange and tangerine to pop on this and less of the bitterness for me to go Flomosa. Because when you say the Mosa, I'm thinking, you know, well, I'm thinking of the alcoholic drink. I'm thinking I'm about to have something beautiful and it's okay. It's okay, it's not bad. You can tell 
most likely that I'm slightly disappointed. And that's the problem when you when you build something up in your head when you've never had it before and you get this excitement and everything else and you're like, yeah, it's, it's like the first time I had Black Oaks um, double chocolate stout. I, got, I, I had it at the Toronto Festival of Beer. Uh, it was back when we still used the fucking camcorder and it was me and Paul and Boy Chuck and uh, Brett showed up with us. And... I was super stoked. Oh no, that was the year it was just me and Paul. And he would like zoom in on any girl that walked by too. But I got super stoked. I'm like, ooh, double chocolate stout. I love stouts. I love chocolate. This is going to be great. And I got up there and I ordered it from Black Oak. And it was all in my mind that it was going to be great. I took my first sip and I'm like, it's okay. And because it was so built up in your head, you give it a harsher mark than you de than it deserves because it's a good beer, but you had something in your head that it didn't live up to, and it's the same with this. This is not a bad beer; it's a good beer, but I built it up in my head. The name Flomosa made me go, "Ooh, that's gonna be good," and then I drank it, and it's like, "Oh, yeah, it's okay." I can't say anything bad about it, really, other than it didn't live up to the hype I created myself in my head. I don't like the cloying bitterness on the back of my palate. Everything else on this I like. Would I buy that again? That's where I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a 6, 7, 5 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10. Keeping in mind that I love Counterpart, I do think the beer is good, I just don't know exactly where I would put it. And for me, I think I'm going to say 6, 7, 5 out of 10. I don't think I would buy it again. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Bye bye